Hello, this is Robbie Mitchell here from Head in the Cloud Development. Today I'm going to show you something very exciting. This is going to be a tutorial on how to create just the most basic single page application in NetSuite. This video is being recorded in July 2024 on NetSuite version 2024.1. So first, what is a single page application? It's kind of obvious from the name, but let me show you the Sweet Answers article that defines them. So this Sweet Answer article 98237 talks a lot about single page applications. It says a, a SPA is a web application or a site that loads a single HTML page and dynamically updates this page when the user interacts with it. And there's a lot more here that you can reference, but I'm not going to go through all this right now. Basically, this is very exciting because this is a brand new script type in NetSuite. And it's actually more than just a new script type. It really is a whole new world of development with a completely new user interface. So in this tutorial, we're going to be working in TypeScript. And if you have some experience with React, that will also be very helpful here. But what if you don't know React at all? Well, I hardly do either at this point, and this is really just a SPA 101, very basic introduction. So don't worry at this point. So before we get any farther, let me show you where to find these in your NetSuite. You might have already noticed, if you go to Customization Scripting, you have a single page applications menu here. Now you probably won't have any in your account yet, but let me just show you this airport example that I got at SuiteWorld last year. This is a single page application. It's meant to show information about departing flights. So I've got a dashboard here. I've got a flights table and a gates table as well. Pretty cool, right? And it doesn't really look or feel like the old NetSuite at all, to be honest. So I hope you're interested. Let's move on to the next question. How can you access or test single page applications? Can you develop single page applications? As of today, the answer is probably no, unfortunately. Right now, they're only available to SDN partners. See this little blurb right here. If you are an SDN partner, you can request access using this link here. So while they are a bit limited now, I really wouldn't be surprised if NetSuite opens these up to a wider audience in the near future. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. Before we get into the code, I'm going to show you the documentation for this NetSuite user interface framework. If you go to this URL, once your account has been enabled with single page applications, you'll find the UIF catalog here. There's a lot of stuff here. We're not going to go through it all, but there is some really good stuff for getting started. It explains uh, kind of the background of why they chose the React-like framework that they use. But of course, to save you some reading, we're going to walk through a live example here. One more resource we need to take a look at first. This is Oracle's GitHub repository of single page application suite app samples. There are some really good examples here. But to be honest, I've had trouble trying to download and deploy these as they are, hence why I'm making a video about it. But a good simple example that we will be going through here is the Hello World TypeScript example. So let's start up WebStorm and dive into some code. So step one is to create a new project in WebStorm. It has to be a suite app. I'm putting mine at HITC test spa2. You need a publisher ID. Mine is com.head in the cloud dev. Project ID is kind of all lowercase one word. So it could be HITC test spa. Project name is that, but a bit more readable. Project version should be 1.0.0. So here's the empty project that we get kind of out of the box here. So from the example here, first let's set up our package.json file. And I'm going to copy this. We're doing this kind of slowly, file by file, just so we can kind of understand a bit about the structure of what's required. You could even go slower and try these module by module and kind of make sure that you're using the most up-to-date versions of everything and find out 
you know, what happens if you don't use a certain module. So once we have this, we can run npm install. And notice here that these scripts that are defined here use gulp. So that means we need to have a gulp file. And here in the example, we have a gulp file.mjs, which is basically a modular JavaScript file. So we can add that in here. Next, we need to create our tsconfig file. I'm just going to copy this. Next, we need to create our single page application XML object. And normally you can use the menu here in WebStorm, but these do not exist in the menu yet. So for now, we'll just have to create it manually. That's weird. Just copy this content. I'll just do new file. And I'm going to call it cust spa hello world ts underscore two. Oh, and I forgot to add the .xml, so I'll do that. There we go. And it's important to always make sure that the file name matches your XML script ID exactly. And secondly, we need to update the folder structure that's listed here for the file references to match what we're going to have here. So essentially, just replace netsuite.uifhwts with your SDN ID and your project ID. Okay, next, let's go ahead and add dependency references to the manifest. This basically just adds in the requirement for server-side scripting. And now we need to create the file that our source code is going to go in. So that's basically this folder here. With the setup we have in our gulp file, the structure needs to match what we're going to have in the file cabinet folders. So if you've done this part right, we can actually just copy this bit and create it under SRC. There we go. So as you can see on line six and seven here, we need a spa client and a spa server script. So let's get those here. We'll do spa server first. And it's basically empty, but we'll copy and paste it as it is. And then for spa client, notice that it's a TSX file. That's a React TypeScript file, basically. So when we're creating it, we can say TypeScript JSX file here. And that will give us what we need. This is trying to import a hello world object from a hello world script. So let's create that as well. Again, it's TSX. And let's look at this just for a minute, and we'll see the React-like framework here. We've got a content panel with a very simple heading in it that just says, hello world. So that should be it, actually. In order to deploy this, first we need to run our bundle script. So we just do in the console npm run bundle. And that should generate this directory in the file cabinet. Yeah, so this is what's going to actually get deployed to NetSuite. Now let's validate it against our account. Oh yeah, I need to set the account here. You'll probably need to do the same. 
Okay, now that's set. Let me try validating again. Ah, oh, yes, I always forget. There's supposed to be an assets folder here too. That's where images would go if we had any. We don't have any, so we can just create this folder empty. Now let's try validating again. Okay, that looks good. So now let's just deploy it using the normal deploy functionality. Okay, it says it worked. Let's go back to our single page applications menu and refresh. And here's my new one, HITC test spa video. Let's open it up. And there it is, hello world. So there we have it, our hello world single page application is up and running. Now again, there's a lot here to explore in the documentation and I haven't gone too much into it myself to be honest. But if you do, feel free to share what you come up with. So for now, this concludes our tutorial on creating single page applications in SweetScript. Please get in touch if you have any questions or feedback. Otherwise, we'll see you at SweetWorld. Thank you for watching.